Hello everyone, Dusty Flyguy here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can play Genshin Impact natively on your Mac, and we'll be using the Windows version this time. So we're going to be using a translation layer, but first of all we just have a few requirements. To start off with, you're going to want to make sure you're on a Silicon Mac or NOAA, so that's end of 2020 and NOAA or 2021 but pretty much in 2020 and the way we can check this is by pressing the apple logo at the top left pressing about this mac and it needs to be m1 or no that can be m2 that can be m1 max m1 pro m3 m4 anything with an m series chip basically all right the first step we're going to want to do also another thing is you also need to be careful if you have eight gigabytes of memory it might not work well i've got eight gigs of memory i've got the lowest spec silicon mac available so let's get started we're going to go on to google i'm going to be using safari and type yet another anime game launcher y-a-g-l go to the github go to the releases and as you can see there mihoya international genshin we need to look for yaagl.os.app.gz so os means overseas right there that matches what we are looking for we got updated last week and there we go we can unzip this open finder drag and drop that into applications All right i'm back i can now now go ahead and close safari and basically we're just going to want to launch this app it might say cannot be open all right so what you're going to want to do is go into system settings go down to where's the privacy and security scroll down and it'll say open anyway it's open anyway into your password and now it should open the app there we go as you can see nadia whatever her name is the Dendro Archon and we have what's Paimon right here. Now if you want to you can install this app to an external hard drive. I'm gonna be changing my Mac pretty soon. So yeah, just into that. So basically I'm gonna be installing it to my main drive just so that I can play it portably. So it will press configure environment you're gonna to have to enter your password you can either trust this or not i trust this and remember when you download these things it's at your own risk mihoyo hasn't banned anyone for this but again it's at your own risk you need to accept all of that all right it says done so i'm going to press restart the program and as you can see it might take a little while and then it is going to reopen there we go and we can see the current banner 5.1 we can see version highlight we can press install and it'll ask us where we want to install it to so here's where you can either install it to your main drive or your external drive you need 100 gigs minimum so you're not going to have a lot of storage space left so i've actually changed my mind i am going to install it to an external drive i'm just going to open up disk utility go to this disk i it's two terabyte that is a lot i'm going to put it to apfs and i'm just going to call it external mac os i can put games on here i don't know if it's sd i think Press okay now this is another tech tip for you if this happens you go show all devices and you can see that we need to do this one arrays apfs let's do external gaming now it should work arrays there's a bonus two-in-one video right there on how to fix storage that isn't working so remember you go view and then press show all devices and as you see that's done so now we can go install game go to our external drive it might ask us if it gives us permission i'm going to make a folder call it genshin choose because i don't want to install on my uh internal drive because i just realized i'll have like 30 gigs of storage space left about not about storage there you go look i have so little space left that is not good all right now this part is going to take a while and when i mean a while i mean it could take like the whole day so basically i would recommend plugging in if you've got a macbook i'd recommend plugging into an external monitor if you can and if you can't plug it in and change your power settings so basically how we're going to do that is we're going to go screen saver lock screen this is the one all right we go to the lock screen thing so you're going to search this start screen saver when and active for again you change this at your own risk i'm going to keep my things how they are because i like them i'm going to change it to 20 uh, 10 minutes section. keep it like that and basically this will to i don't need to do that actually
Ah, oh, when are you ever happy, Apple? Jeez. I'm just going to turn to never for now. And basically, that will prevent your Mac from turning off. And as you can see, it's downloading Genshin Impact. So it needs to install 100 gigs of storage. And I'm not sure how fast your Wi-Fi is. So this could, like I said, I've got, like, let me do fast.com. Let's check how fast the Wi-Fi is in here, in my new room. This is on wireless. I'm getting around 500 and around 570 um 550 megabytes per second all right and it's going to take me quite a while to download it probably a couple hours it's taken me a day and a part in the past so basically i'll be back once this is done all right so the game is installed let me hide obs and we can go ahead and press the settings button and then we can go to DXVK HUD and we want to tap FPS only and that will pretty much give us FPS or I like to use the metal HUD actually so I'll press none we do not turn retina mode on but what we need to go down is press wine and I'm going to change this to game putting toolkit to be honest now we need to restart the game all right so i am back and i realized i made a huge mistake when i refreshed the game i didn't know but i saw down here it said wine 64 i needed to click on it and press install and it might ask you for your password and you need to install it basically it's just installing wine or game putting toolkit that we selected so that's why it took so long i even tried restarting my mac so i was wondering why it was taking so long all right so it's finally done so i can press restart the program and it will just restart it and it might take a few seconds no it didn't and just to make sure everyone's got the same settings we go and we have you can just follow this if you want wine game pointing toolkit good girl i definitely do not want community vision all right now i think we are actually good to launch the game now i would just like to say performance will be pretty bad on the first time we launch it's compiling shady so you're gonna have a bunch of stutters on launch and i'm recording and I'm on the lowest in MacBook, so take this performance with a grain of salt. And I got Apple Intelligence running. I'm not sure if that's a huge factor, but so unfortunately, when I was recording this, my mic was heavily glitching, as you can hear by the audio in the previous video uh, clip. I mean, anyway, basically now you just got to log in like you would on the normal PC version. You can use your passcode, your email, and then you can use the two-step verification if you have that enabled on mihoya all right so like i said before my audio wasn't really working so i'm just gonna audio over this clip although i do have audio on this clip anyway so basically when you first start the game it's going to be really bad you're going to get lots of freezes and stutters so basically what i recommend you do is you stand still and you switch to all your characters and you use all their abilities the elemental burst you go in all the menus and basically why this is happening is it's casting the shader caches so basically the frame rate will get a lot better as you play quick little update i'm recording on my ipad but as you can see here it is 30 fps you a pretty solid 30 fps and this is very playable you could probably even higher the frame rate but again if you just let it sit it will run what it will run not well it will run decently but as you can see we are running around one set a few stutters but the game is playable so if you have anything newer than an m1 and especially if you have 16 gigabytes of memories this game will run very good a better update i've left it for even longer and we are running the game at 1.0 resolution so just straight native 1080p no visar or anything like that and as you can see here the frame rate is actually really good now so again just let it run for a bit and it'll run really good Again, it's running at 1080p. You could probably even go higher if you wanted to, but I'd just stick to 30 FPS if you're on the base M1. Thanks for watching.